Okay, whenever you're ready. Guten Tag, this is Rich from Hughes and Kettner. I'm at NAMM 2018 and I'm here to show you, the fans of the artist formerly known as Pixie Licks, a little bit about the Hughes and Kettner channel. Now, I originally met Steve from Boston, or Pixie Licks as he was known back in those days, at the GitCon event in Germany last year. We got talking, we tried the Grandmaster Deluxe 40, and he liked what he heard, so we sent him one. He's got one at his new studio and he's going to demo it, and he hasn't got to it yet, so what I'm going to do now is just kind of introduce you a little bit to Hughes and Kettner before he shows the amp to you so you can get it from our side before you get it from his side. So let's, uh, let's just come in and take a look here. This is the Grandmaster Deluxe 40, so this is the amp that Steve got to play in person at the GitCon and he did a couple of awesome videos with it with guys like Colin Scott from CS Guitars and Ibanez and stuff like that. This is kind of our flagship at the moment. It's a, it's a four channel tube amp but with so much more. It's an all tube amp with tube preamp and power amp but it has full MIDI capability and you can build up to 128 different presets across the four channels. It has built in effects and it's all analog despite the fact that you can save everything per preset. There's going to be a whole lot more hopefully coming from Steve, Pixie Steve, later on in the year. So let's, um, let's say no more about that. Come round then. We've done this just before the show opens, so we don't have to bump into anybody to do this. This is the TubeMeister Deluxe series. Some of you might know the TubeMeister 18 and 36, which has been around for a few years and was a top seller in the US for quite a while. The TubeMeister Deluxe range has a 20 watt and a 40 watt, and it's an evolution of the TubeMeister. The original TubeMeisters, which came out in 2011, they were based off the preamps of the Triumph Mark II. In the meantime, we released the Triumph Mark III, which is the massive behemoth over there, which I'll take you around in a minute. And we based the preamps of the TubeMeister Deluxe 20 and 40 on the preamp of the Triumph Mark III. So the sound is a little bit different. The distortion is a bit different when you crank up the gain and stuff like that. There are much more simple propositions than the Grandmeister. They're your basic tube amps, no button effects or anything like that. Just pure two or three channels, and that's your lot. Let's move on around to... These bad boys here, this is the ERA acoustic range of amps. These are pretty much new for us. This is brand new for 2018. They're premium, made in Germany acoustic amplifiers. I showed Steve and some of the others these at GitCon, and actually, although their first use is for acoustic amps, guys like Phil McKnight decided that they were awesome bass combos and started using them for stuff like that. And we had a great time. Maybe we should send Steve one of those over the next few months, because I know acoustic is a massive thing for him. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is the mothership then, this is the Triumph Mark III, which you all know from uh, plenty of YouTube videos from the likes of Fluff and, well, basically anyone who is anyone in the world of tube amps. Maybe you can look at those one of those days, Mr. Pixie Licks. But yeah, the Triumph Mark III is made in Germany. Three amps, independent preamps and power amps, six channels that will take you from every kind of era of tone that you could imagine, from clean sort of 50s sounds all the way through to classic rock, all the way through to modern metal and more. Now you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with this amp. It's 150 watts of total power. It ships with three separate sets of power tubes. You can flick them in and out as you wish. Choose the ones that work best for you. Bring in the effects loop and the noise gate and all those sort of features. It has 15 tubes in total. And it is a beast in every single way. 150 watts of total power, as I said. This is our Grandmeister Corner. That's the iPad app up there. If Steve's got an iPad, hopefully he'll show you the iPad app when he goes through it. And finally, we've got a Grandmeister in a rack. We have a lot of artists who play Grandmeister and take it on the road. And they're very, very practical in terms of fly gigs and stuff like that. But some of them have been saying to us, can you build like a rack or something like that so we can just put it in there and forget about it? And so we did, and that's brand new for 2018. Uh, it's just literally some, uh, I got them here somewhere, no I don't, but it's just literally some little metal parts here that you screw onto the outside of the amp. It'll fit in any standard 19 inch rack, get yourself some standard 19 inch computer rack plans and you're good to go. So I hope this was interesting and informative for you. That's just a little run round of the Hughes and Kettner booth at NAMM 2018 for uh, Steve from Boston. I'm Ben Rich from Hughes and Kettner. Any more information you want, hughesandkettner.com and I shall see you later. Cheers.